Whoa, you're bigger than I thought! The Immortal John Hancock here, and today I'm doing a first look at Pac-Man Quarter Scale Arcade Cabinet. This finally came in the mail. I've been waiting to look at it and just give you my thoughts. I talked about it on my channel a couple months back, and it's finally here. And so I'm going to show you the box it comes in, check out the game, have my kids play on it, and give, my, give some of my thoughts on it. Anyways, let's check it out. All right. Putting it to scale with some other things, this is the original Coleco tabletop. You can have these cheaper ones, these cheaper uh, Pac-Mans. You can find these at Walmart. And then you have the Replicade Centipede. And then you have the quarter scale Pac-Man. It is pretty decent size. This thing towers above them. It can still fit on a shelf. But this thing is pretty big. It's 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 a weird size. That's one thing I notice about it is that you know if you have it lined up with your other tabletops, this thing is towering over them, and it's a good, pretty good build. You know, I hope so for the price. It is two hundred dollars. Uh, that price is steep, and it's going to turn off some people. I've had a lot of people comment on the previous video I did. I I think it's a good product. I just think it's pretty expensive and some people are going to see that price and be like well I might as well just have my own full size arcade cabinet or I'll get a one up arcade cabinet I'll spend another hundred bucks and get something where I can actually sit down and play but you know whatever the fact it is this is a good build and this is a, 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 a decent product I just that price is going to turn off some people I'm just being honest and so here we go let's go ahead and check it out all right, here, so here's the packaging that the Pac-Man quarter scale arcade cabinet comes in. It's really cool. It's got the original artwork right here. Again, it's pretty, it's pretty big box. Just to, for a comparison, this is the Replicade. This is the Replicade box that I, I just did of Centipede. And it's, I think it's about a foot tall. Now, this is about 17 inches. The actual unit is 17 inches tall. The box is even taller. So you're gonna need a decent shelf space to put the box. It does come with, uh, it's quarter scale, comes with a limited edition Pac-Man coin. I didn't have a coin in mind to show you. And yeah, it has all the information about what it includes. It does come with a USB cable, and you can plug this in to, uh, a wall outlet if you have the plug it doesn't come with a plug and it does come with this which doesn't come with a manual you can find uh, the user guide is online so I don't know it's kind of weird it comes with a coin and you know it's a collectible but it doesn't come with a manual it's like uh, eh, I kind of wanted a manual so anyways for it for honoring Pac-Man so much I think they should have went the extra step with some type of history of Pac-Man, why this arcade machine is so important and iconic, but maybe they figure the people that are buying it are the people that already know about Pac-Man. I don't know. But anyways, I thought that was weird. I thought that was weird. So, all right, let's go ch check out and look at the arcade cabinet itself. All right, so here it is. This is the actual Pac-Man quarter scale arcade cabinet, and I'm going to zoom in. And it's got pretty decent build. It's got a really, really nice front panel here. And that's a great sound. It's got great feeling buttons. Nice looking screen. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. Marquee lights up as it should. The screen is nice and bright. And I thought it was a pretty good screen. And as you can see, I want to show this, this is the arcade ROM. So it's, it's not a Nintendo ROM, it's nothing else. That's, that's one thing about some other versions of Pac-Man. They, they put it in an arcade cabinet, it's the arcade ROM. Very cool to see that. 
the uh, so I'm gonna turn this off just to make sure it's not damaged. And so on the side artwork, it's really nice. Bottom, it's got some nice feet to grip any surface. On the back side here, and so it's, I think that's where the speakers are, and that's plug-in at the bottom, here's the volume control on and off, and there you have it. Let's go check out some gameplay and have my kids play it. All right, I'm going to try to play this as best as I can, and go ahead and start. I like that you have lots of different lives. I just wanted to show the joystick is nice quality, including the cab. There is a glass front on it. Just want to show some gameplay here. Sounds good. You can adjust the volume on the back. Joystick is small, but it's good build. Escape that! This is the arcade ROM, which is really nice. Makes me wonder if you can modify things. Really cool that it is playing the arcade ROM. Oh no! Oh! <laughs> All right, show a little bit more here. All right, woo! Just wanted to show some gameplay footage. Nice clear screen. Good size screen there. Definitely, um, I tried playing this on the ground. This is definitely still the best way to play this would be on a table. Um, I've tried I've tried on the ground. It's still at a weird, like, I, I think this is best played probably on a, on a table. I'm, I'm on a card table right now, and it's playing great. All right, Kaylee's even going to check out. All right, you're going to check out Pac-Man, okay? Okay. All right, you're going to play it? All right, so what, we're going to add some credits? Okay. Got that authentic sound. There's a volume control. Oh, let's see, what do you think? Look at the camera, what do you think? Good. You like it? How you doing? Good. Good? You hanging in there? See if we can sneak in here. See how she's doing. It's got a nice clean screen. Uh -huh, I'm oh, bummer. <coughs> It's really a cool size. I really like the fact that, you know, I can show this to my kids. I am, you know, because of the quality build, I'm not worried about it getting damaged. And so my kids have been raised right, and I trust them with a lot of my equipment, and pretty sweet. So Justice, I'm gonna have you comment while you're playing. I know it's okay. kind of tough. I'll try my best. Okay, so you played this a little bit. And you've had this in your room, you've played several games. And what do you like about this version of Pac-Man? I like that how it gives you five lives instead of three. And four lives. No, four or five. I think that's five. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, so it makes it a bit easier. And uh, the ghosts look a little bit brighter. Okay. And yeah, I just think it's a really great uh, version. Of Pac-Man. You like the arcade version of Pac-Man? Yeah. Yeah. I like it pretty well. When do you remember playing uh, Pac-Man for the first time? Uh, I think it was like a PRGE. Long time ago? Yeah. Yeah, when you were like four or five? I think three. Oh, three. Yeah, yeah. Definitely been to those. Awesome. It's a nice build. It's Pac-Man. Plays great. Looks great. Looks authentic. Not going to be for everybody for that price. You know, I 
I did a video a couple months ago about it and you know that's the one thing that kept coming up yeah that $200 or so and rightfully so so if you're interested the links below for people that like Pac-Man that want to have a arcade cabinet but don't have the space this might be an option a lot of people brought up yeah for another hundred bucks I can get a one-up arcade cab and you know that's a fair point so there's just a lot of ways to play Pac-Man there's a lot of things out there it seems like arcade stand-ups are kind of this year's kind of thing and there's a lot of products out there so just choose the one that you want I just wanted to show this on my channel and it was nice to have the final product here so Check it out if you're interested. I want to thank everybody for continuing to watch me as I march towards 70,000 subs. I'm getting very close and I have a lot more videos to do. This is the Immortal John Hancock. Thank you for watching and you take care.